How's everybody doing today? My name is Buzz, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, episode 2. Today, we're going to be playing as Magdalene. Magd Magd I don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, so we're going to call her Maggie, just to make it easy on ourselves. Let's jump right into it. Curse of the Labyrinth. Brilliant. Okay, so... What's different about Maggie, as compared to Isaac, is that as you can see up here, Isaac started with only three hearts, but she starts with four. She is the tankiest of all the characters. Her downsides, she's really, really slow, which is really annoying. I love fast characters. Um, her attack stat is lower. She's basically got all lower stats, except for her, her hearts. And she's also got this space bar item, which is called the Yum Heart. And the Yum Heart allows me to consume this when I press space, and it'll fill up one of these heart containers. I also start out with no bombs, keys, or coins. So she's got a lot of downsides, and I kind of hate her a lot. She's my least favorite character out of any of them. There are seven in total. But we're going to see how we do. My mic is kind of in the way of my face, so I'm like moving around trying to get a better view of the screen. But it's alright. Okay, let's finish off these guys. So, in today's episode, um, I'm just going to kind of assume that you know a lot more about the game. Uh, last last episode, I was kind of explaining the mechanics and everything. See, look how slow she is. I hate her. Let's go in here. Um, I could have wished for a better item, but we'll take it. Actually, no, we won't. I like the um heart better. Alright, we'll keep going. Um... I'm just going to assume that you know more about the game though, and I'm not going to explain every little detail, like spirit hearts or anything. Uh, I'm not going to shoot that poop. Let's keep going. Alright, these guys are just going to run away from me. Like little wimps. Get over there. Oh, we're in the basement extra large, or basement XL. So this floor is going to be double the size of a normal room or a normal floor, which I guess is alright. I kinda wish I had another key though. Get this guy. So one of the problems with last episode that I noticed was my voice was being so drowned out by by um, the game volume in the background, because there's no, there's no volume slider for this game. Let's see what these pills are. Pretty fly. Alright. So now we got a little fly hovering around us. Better than nothing. Um, but yeah, so my voice was being really drowned out by the uh, by the game sound in the background. And I love the soundtrack, but when it's overpowering my voice, it's gotta turn down a little bit. So now what I'm doing to fix that is, instead of recording the audio track on the uh, same track as the video, so my voice and audio track or my voice track is combined is not combined with the game volume. Uh, I'm recording two completely different tracks, if that makes any sense. If I'm explaining this fine for you, um, but yeah, I'm using Audacity to record my voice now, so there shouldn't be any comp computer fan, and my voice should be just fine compared to the game volume. There's another key. We're gonna head up, head back up to the item room real quick. See if we can't get ourselves a nice little item here. And here it is. Let's go in here. Chemical peel. Lovely. Alright, so this item is called chemical peel. And we get a, a nasty, nasty burn on the side of our face. But what it does for us... Whoops. I do not want you to die. It gives us a great, great attack boost. So now our tears are going to be doing a lot more damage. You can see they're, they're red now. Or they're only red on the side of the face that was burned by the supposed chemical peel. Shoot that. So I guess only one tier does a ton of damage. So we're going to continue on down. Get this guy. Get this guy. There we go. Some more money. It's, it's always fun when they're in this, this sort of pattern in the room. 
then you just kind of run by, strafe them, go, uh, go up. Hopefully this episode is significantly shorter than the last one, because the last one was like an hour long, and I really didn't want it to be that long, but that's kind of how this game tends to be. It is permadeath, so when you die, you are, you are dead. <laughs> you have to restart completely with a new character. Oop, that guy almost hit me. We're doing good here. I haven't taken any any damage yet. Hopefully, I don't jinx myself when I say that. Get dead. There we go. Key. We're getting kind of loaded here. I'm liking this floor so far. Very good. I feel like I was saying something before, but it doesn't matter enough to me. We're gonna go fight the boss right now. Larry Jr. Whoop. So this guy's just gonna go- Ugh. Oh man. Alright, well we do have the um heart, so we can consume that if if need be. I kinda wanna wait till I take another half heart of damage though before I use it. Since it does give you a full heart. Thought I was gonna get hit there. This guy, like, always jukes me at the last second. Like, I, I always think he, he's gonna hit me, but then... Last second, he just kinda hits me. Or doesn't hit me. Ah! Alright, well, he hit me there. Alright, that guy's down. Let's go grab this heart right here. Oh. Get back here. Gotta chase him down. Killed his butt. And he goes down. Alright, so we gotta speed up. That is perfect. Because I hate being slow. Oh, we're going to go fight the next boss. Since it was an XL floor. We're fighting the Duke of Flies. Luckily we have some damage to cut through these... These uh, meat shield flies that he spits out. Go, 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 go. Ah! He goes down easy. Very nicely. Get this guy. Come on. Oh, having the occasional frame rate drop here and there. I don't think it's anything to call home about. Or, what's that saying? I always forget that saying. That's like the second time I've tried to use that saying in a video, and it's never been right whenever I've used it. Let's get this half heart back, get a health up. With Maggie, it's all about getting really, really tanky. And as you can see, we're amassing some health here. So, should be good. Uh, I could look for the secret room and I probably could try and get another shot, but I don't feel like exploring the entire floor, so we're just gonna go down to the next floor. Let's go down here. So we're doing some decent damage. I would like to get my damage a little higher, and then this run will feel a little bit more promising. But we'll see what happens here. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, got some pills. Health up, please. Telepills, I will take it. This room is easy, so no problem here. See, I say that now, but I bet I'm going to take damage. Just kidding. So this is actually take two of episode two. Um, in, the first, in the first take, um, my voice was so drowned out by the volume that I decided to redo it. And then, as I said before... Uh, record my voice separately from the game volume. Oop, oop. Uh, these guys are just kind of floating around. Oh, th that one guy down there should die. Should have died by now, in my opinion. Now he's dead. Oop. <laughs> okay, let's check out what's in here. Eh, not worth it. It could be, but I'm not too worried about it. Oh, I completely passed up the item room. Let's check this out. The relic, beautiful. What the relic does is it follows you around like this. And then every once in a while when you complete a room, it'll drop a spirit heart, which is always, always important or needed. So let's go back this way. Forgot to mention it before, this is the caves one. So after we beat the basement XL, it just put us directly into the caves one instead of having to fight two floors of the basement. Let's visit the, uh, the shop since we have the keys. 
All right, I want I want this. This is called the uh, Book of Revelations. I want that, but I don't have enough money, so we're going to try and amass some money on this floor to get that book. We're at eight cents. We could do it if we find the secret room and that has a nice chunk of money in it. We could we probably get it. Let's see what we can do here, though. Yeah. All right, so we're, we're fighting Wrath here. Wrath, of course, is one of the mini bosses, one of the seven deadly sins. Ooh, get away from me! Um, it is an oh, and he is an homage to Bomberman. He's kind of got the Bomberman look, and you know, these rocks kind of look like the level, levels in Bomberman. I've never really played Bomberman too much, though. Like I know it's such a classic game, but oh, I almost got hit there. But it's never been something that I was really, really interested in. Two bombs out of that deal, not bad. I probably should play Bomberman Bomberman if I want to be talking about it though. Let's check if the secret room's here. No. Check if it's here. There we go. I don't think I explained last video um, how to find the secret room. The way you find a secret room... So you'll notice up here, the secret room where I just went into is right there. Um, it's kind of in these like alcove areas where where rooms kind of form like the, a hole So you can kind of picture a room being like right tucked into there So I just checked right there and it was it was right in the middle right there So you just kind of drop a bomb right where you think it would be and It might be the secret room It's always worth a shot But you just kind of have to look at the map and kind of take a guess to where you think it is I am really surprised I didn't take damage there. You're dead. Key. Um. So we have the advantage of you have the yum heart. So if I walk into this room, I'm gonna take damage. That is no problem though. Ooh. I don't want that. No, not at all. But you'll see. I press spacebar, and my hearts come back. So, pretty good item. I like it. It's perfect for her sort of play style. Oh yeah, that's right, I need to get more money. We're gonna check up here. I really do want that Book of Revelations. Uh, I got two bombs, we'll use one right here. More money, more bombs. Eh, that's alright. Bombs are always useful, let's check in here. Oh, that's not what I want. Unless that doubles money. I, I'm not quite sure what that card does. If it doubles money, then that's... I did not mean to pick it up there. If it doubles the money though, then that should be perfect for our situation. If it doesn't though, then I don't think we're going to be able to buy the Book of Revelations. These guys should be no big deal. So the problem is I'm not doing that much damage. Well, eh, I'm doing every other shot, I'm doing a ton of damage. It just feels like I'm not doing any damage because I see that other tier that hardly does any. There we go. Ugh. Oh, come on. Oh, what? There you go. Get a couple shots on that guy before he can start shooting me. Very good. I hate the noise that these guys make. It's so annoying. Oop. There we go. Spirit heart, beautiful. Alright, let's see what this card does. Oh, the Ace of Spades is a trinket? That's weird. Alright, looks like we're not going to be able to buy the Book of Revelations then. That is too bad. Unless there's a chest in here, does that? I can't get to that. Alright, no big deal. We'll find something else. Maggie versus Chubb. This is Champion Chubb. I think he's a little bit slower, but... I think he's a little bit more powerful too, though. He might take off a full heart. Oh, he drops these things, okay. Let's kill this guy. There we go. Oh! I'm getting a little too close. Let's get him to swallow bomb. Haha. <laughs> I always love doing that. Come on. Wow, he's only at half damage already. Oh! He ran me down there. Mac, he's so slow. I even have a speed up and she's really slow. Oh! Alright, I should probably save my bombs. 
It's kind of a worthless thing to do. I'm being frivolous with my bombs. Frivolous, word of the day, good vocabulary. Look it up. Oh, there we go. An eternal heart. That's beautiful. Perfect for our situation here. And we got a health up. Eternal heart. As I explained last video, once we enter the next floor, we that eternal heart becomes a full heart container. So, very good. Oh, I thought that was going to hit me. These guys are annoying. These were added in Wrath of the Lamb. And I really don't like these guys. Wow. Oh, you little stinker. That's not really an insult. I could have used a lot worse of words. I was being nice there. Oh. Oh. Juke. Juke. AD. AD. There we go. Continuing on. Oh, secret room. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you guys are way helpful. Yum heart. Let's use it. Oh yeah, this would have been this would have been way good, way better on the uh, last floor when I wanted to buy that book of revelations. Gee, thanks. Whoa! Oh, you. <clears throat> That was my fault, I hit it towards me. Every time you hit these these guys, um, it kind of alters their direction a little bit. Whoa, phone ring, hang on, let me mute my bike here. Phone stopped ringing. So I have a phone that's right next to my microphone in my in my little room up here. That, there we go, dead bird. That's a good item. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, yeah, but I got a phone that's like right here. Oh, you. Darn it. Mini boss greed. One of the seven deadly sins. Takes your money every time he hits you. I hate him. As I was saying though, uh, I have a phone like right next to my microphone. So it's very unprofessional, but I mean, we're not professional here, so I don't think you guys care too much, or you do. <laughs> uh, oh, I wanted to beat him without getting hit. He's just kind of unpredictable. He just shoots at really random times. Get back here. Oh, very good. Thank you, Relic. The Relic just gave me a spirit heart there. Oh. oh, get out of my way. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh my god. So these guys, you just want to kind of lead them. You, you want to bait them in one direction and then go kill them in another, like that. Like it is so. Okay. So I will be able to replenish that heart that I'm missing with the yum heart. So that'll be good. That room I cannot enter because you need to have one heart left or half a heart in order to enter it. And I'm not interested interested in having half a heart. Kind of end my run abruptly. I think those rooms usually pay out though pretty well if you go in them. All right, let's let's get some more money here. So this is a little trick, little gameplay trick here. You can run diagonally across the spikes. Oh, I'm trying to show off here, and this is what you do to me. Um, you can run diagonally across the spikes and get whatever's in the middle of them. You have to do it kind of perfectly though, like that. And I was just being stupid there. That's why I got why, why I ran into it. Damn. Oop. See, oh, okay, I didn't explain the dead bird before. You can see it on the screen now. Dead bird, it's it just it's um, a companion, and you can see it just goes and attacks things, but it only attacks things in the room once I get hit. So if I receive damage, it goes around and it just gets angry and it pecks the daylights out of anything in the room. Oh, I don't like this. Let's get to the side of them. 
These guys are gishes, they shoot diagonally. They're dead. Not cool! No! Oh. Damn it. See, I picked up the card and then it put me in that, that like Zelda stance. And then I couldn't move, and that was just a big panic situation. Get out of here. Dead. Relic, thank you very much. Relic being very, very, very generous today. Oh, hey, nice shop you have in here. Oh, you're all gonna die. There we go. Oh, nice, an eternal heart. Very, very good. I'm gonna come back to that later, once I complete the floor. Oh, I have judgment now. Um, let's get judgment going here, actually. I'm happy to see you, judgment. Give me something good. Item, preferably. I don't need hearts. Come on. Pay out, buddy. There you go. Health up. Very good. And then that eternal heart right there is gonna give us... Gonna give us a health up at the end of the floor. Muy bueno. Uh, let's go down here. This is closer. Kinda lazy. Don't wanna go all the way up there. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. That was, that was just unpleasant. Thank you, dead bird. Go get them. Peck them. Yeah. Um, that was, that was not fun. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go fight the boss right now. Catacombs 2 boss is... The Hollow. The Hollow... I don't want to speak too soon, but it shouldn't be too hard. Just kind of bounces. Yep. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Just kind of bounces around. At least now my dead bird will activate and we'll get some extra damage on it. Make the fight that much quicker. Yep. I spoke too soon. It doesn't have too much health, but it's kind of annoying bouncing around. Get him, dead bird. Go. <laughs> get him. <laughs> Look at him go. So much effort. I'm going to get you... There we go. Okay, we got the meat, which is tears up and an HP up, and <laughs> look at her eyebrows now. She's a man. Okay, let's go to the deal with the devil room. Hmm. I don't want either of those. Yeah, heart. I forget what this thing is. It might be useful, but I don't want to risk it. It's kind of expensive. All right, we're gonna go take that eternal heart and then we're gonna continue on to the next floor. Boink, 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 boink. This, this, um, the chemical peel power up reminds me of that, that bad guy from Batman, Two-Face. Just Harvey Dent. Here is where I would insert the classic Batman impression but I cannot do one for the life of me, so I will not. I'd rather save myself the embarrassment. And so we got that eternal heart to be a full, full-on heart container. Very good. Kill these guys dead. Whoa! There we go. Chest. Pills, be please be good. That is not good. Tears down. That means we're not shooting as fast anymore. Not something I like to see. Oh dear. These guys have pretty smart AI. They like try and surround you. Like that. <laughs> Just like that. Um, let's see if we can get them to walk over the spikes though. They're not that smart. Dead bird, get him. Oh my god, he has a lot of health. And then they just resurrect. Okay, two keys. Very good. Nope. Go all the way down here. Oh! Oh, I, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm safe. No, I'm not. Spirit heart, nice. Go down here. Hmm, what do I want? I could basically buy anything. Bum friend. I don't know, I'll think about it. I would explain- if I get that item, I'll explain what it does. Otherwise, I'm too lazy to. Oh, 
little mini boss fight against Larry Jr. Thought I was gonna get hit there, but I didn't. Come on. Oh, that was dumb. My frame rate dropped just as I was about to get him, and he got me. Kind of like screwed over my sense of direction. There we go. What is this? Safety cap. That sounds pretty lame, so I'm gonna roll with the ace of spades. Trinket, trinket wise, I don't know what like any of the trinkets do, so I just kind of guess. Whatever sounds cooler, I kind of go with. And I think the ace of spades sounds kind of cool, so we'll go with that. <laughs> Damn, my mic is in the way. I'm like leaning back and forth trying to get the angle that I want. Otherwise, I can't really see. No. Oh. Oh. Can't get to that. Let's see what's in the item room. Oh. This might be. This will be interesting. So let's see. I've got full attack right now. I don't think I want to pick that up. If that is what I think it is, I think that. I think it's called P. And it makes makes your character. It makes you shoot from like the lower half of your body. And it's really short shots. Like the, the range isn't very far on your shots. But they're all really yellow. They do. They don't do very much damage. I, th I think it lowers your damage, but increases the speed at which you fire. <laughs> it's, it's really funny looking, but I think it'd be pretty detrimental right now. Let's go up here. Demon Justice. Hmm. Or not Justice, Judgment. We'll be risky, see what he's got to offer for us. Alright, well that didn't work, but we got the secret room now, and we got a 1-up. That is... Best news I've heard all day. Mm, we're gonna continue on. Let's go in here too. These chests never, never work with me. Yep, that's exactly what happens every time. Yep, I should have expected that. With my luck with those chests, I never get anything good from those. Those are like devil chests or whatever. Yum heart. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jukes. See if we can get one of them to land on the spikes. Oh, yes. Your AI isn't that smart. Okay, let's continue on. So yeah, the one up just gives me an extra life. You can see up in the very top right, it says times two. And that means that I just have the one up and that I have an extra life. That was pretty self-explanatory, but I figured I'd explain it anyway. Oop. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have gone forward. I would have been fine if I had just stayed where I was. Alright, so there's the boss room. Hmm. What do I want to do? probably just shouldn't have even bothered coming in this room. I'm gonna take more damage than... This This room really isn't gonna pay off at all. Yeah, kill him, dead bird. Get the other guys. Come on. The AI on the dead bird is a little bit sketchy sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't quite work the way it should. Pills here, telepills. See where they take us. Oh, nice! Alright, so this is like a super, super secret room. It's called an error room. And it only happens when you take telepills. Or teleport of some sort. And see how this guy's saying, I'm in error. And the room's kind of all fuzzy. So I don't know what... I think I'm going to take this. Oh, I get both the items? Nice. Alright, so that is perfect. <laughs> now look at us. Oh, man. We're like disease ridden. So, this is just really rare. I'm... <laughs> I'm pretty lucky this happened. So now we're doing... Oh, jeez, I keep doing that. I keep trying to look at my stats. So now we're doing even even more damage than the game allows. Let's continue down. Alright, so we just continue down to the next floor. Cool. Didn't even need to fight the boss. That was really awesome. That's only ever happened to me once before. This is... Rage? Wow, we're doing so much damage. Uh, I might come back to that. What Rage does is... The more, the more enemies you kill in a room, the more damage you do. But I'm not sure if that's going to... Oh my god. 
I'm not sure if that's going to completely decrease my damage um, once I pick it up. And so I would have to just kill enemies in order to gain my damage back. So I don't want to risk it. Right now, I'm doing so well on damage that I think it's pretty unnecessary. Oh, oh bugger. <sighs> that was some dodging right there. Alright, spirit rock. Tinted rock, whatever it's called. Got a spirit heart and a card. Death, I will take it. Awesome. Oh, no. No. I don't like this room. Not at all. I'm gonna lose a ton of health on this room. Dead bird, don't attack the stupid masks. Go for the heart. You idiot. No. Oh, my God. This room. No. I'm getting out of here. Get me out. That was awful. I'm never going in there again. I almost just... I'm so slow right now, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> the jukes. Um, kind of worth it to go in here. Let's go in here. That was not what I wanted to see happen. This is the second time we've fought Greed on this little playthrough. Well, geez, this video might be as long as the last one. I was, I was really like... Oh yeah, I'll make I'll make this video much shorter. Nope. This video is probably going to be an hour too. You guys already know though because you see the length of the video down in the bottom right hand corner. Is it in the left or the right hand corner of the YouTube thing? I'm not quite sure. Okay, let's go this way. Luckily we do have that one up, so if we do die, we will come back with full health. Oh. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I didn't explain those items that I got in the error room before. And what those items do... You can notice one of them was a crown of thorns that I'm wearing right now. And that just gives me a damage up. And the other one was like a syringe looking thing, and that's called the virus. And what the virus does is it gives me poison touch. So every time an enemy bumps into me, or I bump into an enemy, it'll do poison damage to them. And it'll kind of be just like latent damage, so it'll just kind of sit there for a while. Um, and it's a pretty good—it's a pretty good item. Just kind of—it's useful. It synergizes well with some other items, and that's kind of what Isaac is all about: um, getting items that synergize well together. Oh my God! These stupid flies get out of my way. These fly rooms just take forever because they're oh, oh my God! I'm getting frustrated. Because we're doing, we're doing pretty good, but just really, really stupid damage. Alright, finally. Uh, let's go all the way to the left here. Nice. This is Necropolis, and I'm pretty sure Necro Necropolis is considered like a harder version of the Depths. Ooh. Oh. These are Greeds also, I'm pretty sure. I'm not quite sure what these enemies are called. These were added in Wrath of the Lamb. Those little flies that circle them, though, block all the damage. Alright, get these guys. Oh, we got a nice spirit heart from the relic. Paying up. I'm gonna bomb my way over to this heart right here just because we need it. Child's heart. Am I right? Yes, I am. Nice. I don't know what it does. We're gonna go with it, though, because it sounds cool. These stupid masks. Oh. And their hearts. Ah, oh, and these hearts take so much damage, too. No. Get. No, stop attacking the masks, dead bird. Yes, attack the heart. No, stop. Stupid bird. Whoop, whoop. Juke him. Oh, no. Oh. I hate these masks. Oh my god. Oh, and their hearts are just as bad too, because they like surprise you with that little attack they do. Alright, they're finally dead. Let's yum heart that up. Nope. This room is pointless. No point to being in here, I'm gonna leave. Hmm. I don't know if I want to take that ace of spades back. Let's go up here. Alright, so we got the arcade! We're gonna leave. 
Actually, I want to go to that arcade because I want to get some health back and I got a ton of money. Nose itch, that's why my voice went pretty weird there for a sec. If, if it did, if it didn't, then I had a nose itch. You know now. Okay. So let's hope we can, we can get some hearts from these guys. I don't care about video length anymore. This is just gonna have to be. I wanna I wanna win on this round. I feel like this run has potential, so we're gonna win. I'm feeling it. Give me some hearts, buddy. I don't want bombs. Pretty fly. Very good. Get this, get this. We're gonna blow this up in the meantime. Give me some hearts. No. Oh, that gave. That paid out well. Awesome. Give me some more. Come on. Ooh. Very good. What this guy have in stock? Oh, it's Skatol, I think it's called. Yep, Skatol. Skatol, um. Basically, any fly related enemies now like me. And, um. Yeah, they don't hurt me. So that's pretty cool. Alright, I've probably spent enough time in here. We'll wait, and then we'll just blow this up. Very good. That was actually very helpful. I'm glad the arcade was there. Okay. So let's continue on. I don't know if I want to pick up Rage, I'm still thinking about it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hate that room. Buttlickers! That is the technical name. As you can see. This is probably the most damage I've ever done with Maggie. Ow, that was dumb. She's normally just a really tanky character, not really a damage dealer. But if you pick up the right items, she can be pretty insane. Oh, the fool. Nope. Mmm. Not again. Like, my heart just sank once I saw this room. <gasps> oh. oh my god. The room layouts with these rooms, too, are just horrible. They just... Ugh. Come here. Stop running away, you baby. Oh, where did that... Oh my god, there's a mask there. I didn't even see it. <laughs> Get away from me. Stop making these stupid rooms. The makers of this game are monsters. Stop it! <laughs> no! Oh my god. Dead bird, you idiot. Stop attacking it. Oh my god. I had like almost full health when I went into this room. That was the stupidest thing that could have possibly happened. Oh great, we're fighting mom now. That, that's fantastic. Great. Oh, and it's champion, Mom, too. Great. Uh-huh. Just fantastic. Death. Please hurt. Hurt Mom. Oh, great. This is just fan freaking fantastic. Alright, so at least she's kind of almost dead. Dead bird, do work. Do work for me, buddy. Oh. Oh, stupid spider. Get away! Yes! Alright, Deadbird is not being an idiot here. Good job, Deadbird. You are a smart individual. I take back everything I said. Just kidding, you're just sitting by that door right there. You are stupid, Deadbird. Oh! This fight is not fun. Like, I know I'm doing good damage, but I feel like I'm not doing any damage at all. I think it's just because she's really beefy as a champion mom. There we go, finally dead. Alright, whoa, frame rate. <laughs> whoa, we are at low health. Not good, yum heart. Alright, let's go down. Okay. Game, please respond. Oh dear. I'm getting the uh, the spinning volleyball here. 
or whatever it is. Whoa! Hey, oh, what's going on here? That was weird. All right, let's continue this way. Nope. Dodge, 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 and out. Oh, now I'm out of bombs. That's lame. Yeah, I definitely need some bombs. And some key keys. I basically need everything. Let's kill this turret first. I don't know how I'm feeling about this run now. Like, I know I still have that one up, but I don't know. Alright, let's just walk this guy into those spikes. Haha! <laughs> Doppelganger! My intuition is saying that it's not this way, it's this way. My intuition never lies. Oh damn. Okay, come here. <laughs> I love the eyebrows on our character. She like used a little too much eyeliner today. Or mascara, or whatever 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 they use on their eyebrows. <laughs> I know about makeup. Oh! Oh man, I didn't want to get hit at all. Maybe with the Yum Heart we'll be able to recover our self back up to full. If I'm not stupid. Alright, this this way's feeling a little promising. Whoa, hey! <laughs> hey oh! Yeah, die! There we go. Intuition says down. I bet it is. I bet I'm right. Yum heart. If it is, it's kind of far away. I'm not liking that. Ooh. Whoa. This is a lot of bullets to dodge. Oh yeah, in the womb. Um, every, every bullet does double damage. So instead of half a heart of damage that I take, I take a full heart of damage, which sucks, especially when it's like, like, look at that, how, how, I'm getting shot from every single direction, how am I supposed to not take damage here? I just need to eliminate a couple more of these guys, there we go, spirit heart, beautiful, thank you relic, oh, it's not this way, it's not this way, ouch, Oh, but it's down. You're joking. It's not down here. Run around, run around, run around. Get me out. Alright, so my intuition was wrong. Stupid guy. Um, <laughs> alright, looks like we're going this way. I hate the womb. Oh. Bad, not bad. Oh, there's two champions of these guys. Die. Oh my god. I feel like I'm not doing any damage now. The tower. Oh, that I forgot I always forget what that card does. Oh, but it's a beauty, because it opened up the secret room for us. Pointless money. At this stage in the game, we really don't need that. Um, totally worth it in my opinion. If we can live a little longer. Alright. So now I'm thinking it's this way. <laughs> I'm not going with my intuition. I shouldn't have gotten hit there. It is not this way. Where could the boss room possibly be? Oh, 
Okay. Let's see. Alright, so it's gotta be this way. It has to be. This better be a freaking easy boss. If this boss is like death, which if you don't know who that is, that's one of the seven deadly, or not seven deadly, um, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, I'm gonna be a little angry. Oh, almost got trapped by the poop there. Oh, stupid poop in the way. Oh, damn it. All right, another pretty fly, very good. Diglets, not. I don't like Diglets. They always take so much damage. They're always tanky. It's looking like we might die on this floor, which is okay. Preferably not, though. Like I really don't want to. Okay. Spirit heart, very good. Let's continue on this way. Okay, let's blow this up. Give me more hearts, please. Awesome. Library. Book of Belial. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's take it. So what the- oh, dear god, I, I've never versed this boss before, so I have no idea what it does. Um, so what the Book of Belial does is it gives us- e oh! I did not know that happened. It gives us extra damage for one room, so we are doing crazy insane damage right now. Oh, crap. I, <laughs> I have no clue what this boss does, so I guess it just kind of stomps around and then smacks its head in the middle. Oh, or right on me. Whoa, oh, hey. Hey. Get over here. There we go. He's dead. Kill these guys. Awesome. Squeezy. Squeezy is an upgrade that gives us a fire rate increase and two spirit hearts. I'm gonna get rid of the yum heart. I don't know if that's unwise, but I think I want to do extra damage instead of just be able to replenish some health every once in a while. Let's go this way. It. Wow, that's surprising that it's not this way. Whoop. Alright, so we survived that last floor, which I'm very surprised about. I can't walk on this red stuff. Oi! Alright, you're dead. Alright, there we go, a heart. We're just kind of running on really low life here. Whoa! Kill these guys first. Come on. There we go. Alright, so in order to kill this guy... Strafe. Alright, he's dead. Oh no. Not cool. Oh no. Oh no. Not good. Alright, spirit heart. Perfect. That's just what I needed. Alright. I'm hoping... I'm really hoping that it's this way. Because I don't want to take much more damage before I fight Mom's heart. <laughs> oh. Come on, yeah, blow up on him. Very good. Alright, awesome. Whoa. I'm lucky I didn't take damage there. I think my Meat Boy blocked it. Or no, wait, no. It's, I don't even have a Meat Boy. It's one of my pretty flies. They're, all, they're sponging the damage for me. All my stupid mistakes. Alright, now you just gotta kill these guys. Please don't- I really don't want this room, next room to be a dud. Nice. It was kind of a dud. Got the arcade here. In the interest of time, I'm not gonna go spend tons of time in there. I'm just gonna keep on rolling here. So now, uh, what Friends Till the End does is it puts all these different, like, blue-looking flies around me. Whoa. This is not cool. Oh. 
Ooh. Almost getting hit here. Alright, so now we just got a bunch of these gut gut looking guys. Isaac really is a disgusting game. <laughs> it's got some weird looking characters. Alright, there we go. Come on. Ah. Oh. Taking too much damage. Oh. We're not gonna last too much longer here. No. No, I don't have any bombs. I can't bomb my way out. Oh. This might be the end here, folks. Whoa. Ah. I do have another life, though. So. We know that way's not the correct direction. It's gotta be down here. Alright. This is looking right. Whoa. Too much dodging. No. Nope. Come on. Okay. So now this shouldn't be too bad. Very good. I just gotta kill these guys. Awesome. Man, that last room, that Gertie Jr. room, those guys are called Gertie Jr. Very good. We're looking good on health now. Those guys are called Gertie Jr. and they're so annoying. Like this guy, this guy, this guy's Gertie Jr. Oh, and he does this thing, and I can never know where it's gonna go, and I always die to this guy. Whoa. Oh my god, I hate that so much. It's so quick. Like, like, look at that. Oh, please die. Get him, dead bird. Get him. Yes. Get him. Good job, boy. Okay. Looking okay for the boss fight here. Let's go. Maggie versus It Lives. Here we go. Oh, alright. Let's use Book of Belial here. Not good. Gotta champion one of these eyeball things. Got a heart. Very good. So we're dealing macho macho damage. It's still gonna take a while though, I think. Catchy tune. I like I like all the bice, boss fight music. The bice fight. Kill this guy. Oh, I do have two bombs. Ah. Oh. I gotta save as much damage as I can. I really wish I could have lived through this entire floor. Cause then saving saving up all that life for the cathedral would have been great. But, oh, damn. Oh! Alas. What was me? We're gonna leave a bomb, a little present for him. Yeah, get him. Let's get the Duke of Flies here. This guy's no problem. He was in the beginning, but he ain't now. Oh, we got Chubb now? Ouch. Darn it. I'm taking a little more damage than I would like to be. I really... Preferably should be taking no damage. Oh, dearie. There was just too many on the floor. Look at the size of my tears right now. Crazy big. Kill him. Here we go, Deathbird. Good job, Deathbird. Okay, let's go grab this over here. And let's go up, shall we? Alright, <laughs> last time we got to this floor, but we didn't get very far. My intuition is telling me left. And I have a feeling that we might not get very far this time, also. If we had that one up still, we might be able to beat the final boss. Oh no, not these guys. I do not like this boss. Not one bit. Oh my goodness. Alright, we got one of them. Oh, dead bird, good job. Alright, let's go out. This way. Book of Belial. Oh no. See, it's this guy again. No! He like jolts really quickly. Oh no. 
Look at how much damage we've taken. Oh. Thought for sure I was gonna get hit there. The fellas look hang loose. Hang loose, buddy. Kill this guy. Alright, so that was a dead end. That's kind of unfortunate. Let us continue on. Uh, I'm thinking down. Down sounds right. This is not cool. This is just evil. How am I... Ow, ow. What? <laughs> How am I supposed to get through that? Every way is just death. That was really evil. No, no, no. Oh. This is, this is looking grim, guys. Oh. It's looking even more grim. Got half a heart. That's the end. Alright, guys. Wow. That was probably just as long as the last episode. I was hoping to expediate it, but definitely not. <laughs> so, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will see you in the next episode of The Binding of Isaac.